Hey, welcome back to Quick Tech Tips. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a short video on Mac OS and five things you can do to more securely lock down your computer. Uh, this will work on uh, new Macs, older Macs. Uh, the current version I'm using is uh, Mac OS High Sierra, but this will work on Mojave and older versions. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come down to um, System Preferences. You can get to System Preferences by the tray or to go to the Applications folder. Uh, once you're there, go to Security and Privacy. And you're not only going to have to be an administrator, but you're going to have to uh, check this uh, lockbox, enter your password, and turn on the firewall. I'm not sure why Apple has this turned off by default, but uh, you'll want that on. And the second thing you want to do is uh, come down to Firewall Options just below it. And you'll see something, one of the third checkboxes, it says enable stealth mode. So what that does is, if you use your computer a lot at uh, internet uh, hotspots, Wi-Fi hotspots, uh, Starbucks, the airports, um, basically an attacker can, uh, at the most basic level, you can scan the network and see if anyone's, uh, any of the computers uh, attached or online and responding. So um, I'll just show you here. Right now, uh, if I ping myself, it's it's responding. Um, so what you want to do is come back and enable stealth mode. And once you turn that on, it basically no longer responds to ping, which is what you want. Uh, so basically, uh, an attacker can go to more uh, deeper methods to you know, find computers in the network, but at the most basic level, uh, your computer's not going to respond to uh, him trying to detect or them trying to detect if, if your computer's online or not. So uh, once we're done that, uh, come back to the main system preferences page and go down to users and groups. And Apple by default has a, a guest user account uh, so that anybody, a family member, a friend, whoever, a guest can log into the computer. They don't need a password. But it is a bit of a security risk because they are on your computer, though they don't have administrative rights or they won't be able to make any changes. So um, again, you'll have to check the box, um, the lock at the bottom to unlock it, enter your password, and click the guest account and uncheck allow guest to log into this computer. So also um, go back out and go back up to security and privacy. And there's two more things you want to do. Uh, so one is the f file vault. It's the encryption. Now, if you have a, a Mac Mini or a uh, iMac, this doesn't really um, won't affect you too much. I mean, it's good to have encryption on your hard drive, but um, this is it's really important if you have a laptop because if you travel with a laptop, you take it places, Starbucks, uh, hotspots. Um, if you lose your laptop, it's nice to know that it's encrypted, so no one will be able to access the contents. So, uh, click the lock icon again, and you can turn on File Vault. So here there's two options, allow my iCloud account to unlock my disk, and the second one is to create a recovery key. Um, unless you plan on saving the recovery key on a USB key and stashing it somewhere in a really safe place that you'll remember, uh, you won't forget or you accidentally wipe the USB key or wipe this place that you've stored it, I would highly recommend that you just choose the first option and uh, allow your iCloud account to uh, unlock the disk. So go ahead and check that off and then you want to hit continue and um, then it'll start encrypting the disk for you. Now if you go back to general, the final thing you want to do is make sure that uh, required the top uh, checkbox require password after um, a certain amount of period of time uh, after the computer the screen goes to sleep or um, the computer's been locked you want to make sure that um, you can choose a time immediately five seconds a minute um, I wouldn't suggest anything more than 15 minutes so for the time being you know, I find about five, one minute, five minutes is okay time, but if you have a lot of people coming and going past your computer, then I'd probably make it either immediately or one minute. So choose the time that uh, you prefer, and then um, that's it. 
So hopefully this has been informative for you. Um, I highly recommend, even on new Macs, old Macs, uh, enabling these five settings. And if you have any questions, just toss them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Thanks. Bye.